Hi friends, I am Joel John from Joel John J YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see some sample US health insurance card because uh, getting accurate information from the health insurance card front and back side is very essential. So whenever you ask for a US health insurance card, you have to ask for both the sides. I will show you some of the sample cards now and you can see my website name above. Kindly log in and check for what I am going to do next. And now I will be going to screen sharing mode where I will be able to show you some of the details. Okay, this I will take it down. And here I have got the sample health insurance card. Okay. So this is the front side and this is the back side of the card. This is how it will look. And here you will be having the US health insurance company name or logo. This PPO stands for the type of card. There are type of cards like PPO, HMO, EPO, uh, which are like uh, the type of plan or the type of services available. PPO is preferred uh, primary physician uh, partition organization. EPO is exclusive uh, partition organization. HMO is uh, health management organization. Like that, there are difference, okay? So here you have the patient ID. This is the number which you have to check on the insurance portal to get the information. Here you have the copay amounts. This is for mainly for uh, helping the, the entry receptionist in the medical bill med hospital that's provider office or specialist office to collect the copay amount. For this is uh, PCP stands for primary care physician. To meet a primary care physician every time till they reach the maximum uh, value, they have to pay this amount. Okay. And uh, here the, we have the specialist amount, and here we have the emergency care copay, and we have the urgent care copay. And this is for uh, drugs. If it's a generic one, $15 and $20 for copay. Uh, for branded drugs will be the copay. And here we have the patient name and uh, some number, group number, and we have the primary care physician name listed here and the primary care physician telephone number. So if we need to get a referral, we have to call to this primary care physician to this phone number, okay? And then um, the, this payments, they have to make this copay, they have to pay copay, co-insurance, they have to pay still they reach the maximum out of packet expenses. I mean, forget that name earlier. That's why I a little bit struggle. And I will put the video which has uh, the details about when to pay what or what patient responsibilities at the end screen, or I will give it on the card. So click on the card and check on the end screen for the video. Here I have the US insurance company website. So this is the website in which you have to log in uh, with your credentials. Uh, and with this ID, you have to pull out this patient details and you have to verify the start date and end date of the insurance. Most of the insurance card won't have the insurance start and end date. So you have to check it there. Even if it's mentioned here, this could be a fake card. So you have to every time log in and check. That is one of the key aspect of verifying whether the insurance is expired or not. So now you have got the in-network deductible co-insurance and co-pay and out of uh, network deductible co-insurance and co-pay. So being a PPO plan, you can use it on out of network as well. Whereas the amounts will vary. So if the pay, if it's not in network C from $200, you are directly going to $1,200 and uh, co-insurance from 10% to 20%. Prior approval is required for certain uh, services as described in the members plan. Here you have the nurse line number, member services and provider call number. We would be first calling the provider call number if uh, they deny for example, prior authorization or something before having a medical level uh, conversation, we'll also be, we can ha always have the right first, but first try redoing the clinical pathway. And in this, if it's given some a different number for prior authorization, then you have to call to that number, uh, try re redoing the clinical path, then directly jump onto the NAR cell plane. And here in the, uh, you can see a huge difference between the in-network and uh, out-of-network uh, uh, directables and co-insurance value the reason is when you go to an out of network uh, uh, facility they will charge you for the build amount 
and uh, uh, this coinsurance percent is high because uh, all insurance have companies will have an upper and a uh, lower limit for uh, allowed amount when they when you go for an out of network expenses some of them will go like you know medicare plus 10% medicaid uh, fee schedule plus 20% like that to make it simple whereas uh, most of them uh, the established companies if they have a presence there they will have their own fee schedule on that they will go up to the maximum limit uh, but the doctor bill amount will always be higher than that out of my experience i can say that and uh, when we go for the next level that is for uh, uob video you will be you know, able to understand that very clearly so here if you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 all those are given here member id member name group number i told you right this one is a group number and you have the primary care provider name and one this ppo is plan type and then you have the copay for primary physician visit specialist urgent and uh, emergency so this is for the drugs plan, drug plans here you have got generic and branded and then 10th is health insurance website and the in network and uh, deductibles and coinsurance out of net deductible coinsurance plan contact numbers these everything i have explained to you and now let us see some of the sample cards as well with this alone we cannot uh, close it what i will do is i will just minimize this and go for the first insurance card which i have got with the insurance number this is also a sample card so this is given as reissue english so this is not a original name even you can see the pcp name as provider name and here you have got a dummy number that is also a dummy one so here you have got the group number payer id so electronic payer id you have to get it for submitting the claims electronically okay so here you have got some and this place you got the last line number mental health if it's a combo plan if it also have behavioral health uh, benefits then you will have the mental health number for those cases you have to call here here you have it for provider so this is the number er caller should call this is for the patient member number is for the patient to call so you when you gave the member services number if the rep is not providing you can always go ahead uh, into your software and check for this insurance got back side and provide this number okay don't uh, put keep the calls on hold for this reason so this is the cli medical claims address always you can cross check with this sometimes uh, before without call itself if it's a uh, claim is denied then you can check here whether it is billed for the correct address the claim is sent payer id is here this is for pharmaceutical claims okay so this is the health plan company this is the plan number and so hope we have done mostly for this so let's go to the next one so for medicare plan i have got some notes so just no note this part a is for hospital insurance inpatient mostly and part b is for supplementary medical insurance which covers services for doctor and other health providers for outpatient care and home health care and durable medical equipments and those things okay so because we are going to see the medicare card now so if you look at this card you have part a for the part a and part b there will be different coverage start dates and for medicare also you have to check it online so don't say that the here we have got the date so you can go along with that that's not what's expected Uh, what's the ethical behavior as well so here the same thing here you have two numbers member id and health plan number so you have to check what's uh, asked for the on the website here you, you have got a dummy website i think so but if you have, you have to go to the uhc website and check for this so here you have the member name and here you have got the dependents name this is for a, a sample card for a family health plan so this person the member will be the guarantor for any patient for any sorry any of the dependents the guarantor will be the member on whose name the plan is issued or who has paid the premium for the plan he will be given as the guarantor so always check for guarantor in uh, health insurance mainly for uh, baby newborn baby cover denials you have to check whether the guarantor is mother and if her insurance is active then with the statement if day one cover is there you can uh, take it for reprocessing in case of health employer insurance they will ask for a letter from the hr department they won't add because the 
employer is the person who pays for that even though the guarantor is the mother or father still they will ask for the letter from the hr department or the if they have a different separate insurance department check with them from which email id is there any restrictions they will give you even the contact person name and number in your company at sometimes if you don't have you can always contact your company hr for that purpose and check with them what the details are required and they will provide the details based on that you can take that further okay and now these are two denials which i set how to handle it now again the same thing like customer name number here you have the copies for office care, office visit this is for specialist visit office visit is also the one for the primary care physician don't say that the primary care physician is not there whatever comes for office visit is for the primary care physician as well here you have the urgent care and emergency care given separately and here you have the provider number providers for providers there is a separate portal it will be given here medi claims and here we have the got for pharmacy different number so in the member column what the number is given is for the member services number in the provider column what the number given is for the provider services number okay then we are going to look at the next one this is a state employees card for this also you have to check it on the website so here you have the date issued here you have the employer's name here you have the split up of the various uh, uh, type of uh, services what is the copay okay and here you have got for the generic drugs and others here you have the subscriber id this is the id with which you have to same and here you have the employer name okay and you have the employer grade here you have the employer name and here you have the grade and here you have the employee's name okay this is one type of card and again the last one uh, with many contacts i thought of showing you one this both are the same so what i will do is i will show it like this i have to bring mine down here okay so here you have got a card here the member name id enrollment code the effective date in some insurance card the effective date will be given here itself still you have to check with the expiry date some cards that also will be given but still you have to check on the insurance portal you can also do a search with the name and date of birth most of them will have this option on date on those cases even if the new card is renewed but not updated with the hospital they won't have it in the software but you will be having it on the blue cross Uh, website in this case or on the insurance website in that case when you do a search with the name and date of birth so always do that search on the verification process okay so here you have got the customer care number and i told you right for pre certification in some cases there will be a different number here we have got that okay and i will just highlight and show so here we have got a different number for pre certification you can see that Here you have got it for customer care, mental health, retail and pharmacy connections, assistance for overseas. If the patient is coming and come for overseas and he has got admitted, this in this plan they have given the they have got the overseas benefit. That's why it's coming like this. Okay. So, oh, uh, for uh, cases in which they have the overseas benefit, they will be having this. Okay. and uh, now with this we are almost coming to the end i hope you all would have understand how to check uh, on the various uh, parts of the uh, insurance card if you have any doubts you can always feel free to ask me and uh, the below is also the same one it's a detail of the same one okay okay friends Uh, subscribe to my channel and on the end screen you will have a related playlist and uh, videos now you will be seeing that on popped up on your screen that is the end screen you will be seeing some box you can click on that to view that uh, playlist and videos also cards will be something which would have gone on the up there will be some lines went on so those lines if you click and check those are the cards you will see a list of videos on the side those also you can add up we are coming up with a lot more lots and lots more of videos so stay tuned to my channel Press the subscribe icon below and press the bell symbol when it's once it pops up and enable all notification. Give a thumbs up for as an appreciation for my work by pressing the thumbs up symbol below. Share your valuable comments, queries, whatever you want to come up with. And these videos I am coming as advanced of uh, client status video. That because these are basics for understanding that that will be coming very soon. And that's why I started practicing the Zoom calls as well. Okay, friends, it's time to say bye, and I am ending the recording and. It's your Joel Johnji signing off from you. Bye.